good afternoon all. Uh, UN teams have now arrived in Indonesia and Samoa uh, to help those countries cope with recent devastating natural disasters. Meanwhile, the World Food Program says it is rapidly expanding its relief operation in the Philippines in the aftermath of last Saturday's crippling uh, tropical storm. In a statement today, WFP Executive Director Josette Chiron said, when nature strikes with such force, the world must come together. And the Director General of the UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, Koichiro Matsura, has stressed that national authorities must maintain and constantly improve their communications and warning systems to help protect vulnerable uh, coastal populations. Our guest at the noon briefing today uh, will be Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator John Holmes. He'll brief you on the earthquakes, tsunamis and storms that have recently hit Asia and the Pacific and on what the UN is uh, uh, doing to help. So we'll have John Holmes um, as our guest in a few minutes. Thank you very much uh, for, for being here. Um, uh, what I wanted to, to do was to talk about how nature, if you like, has once again been showing its uh, destructive power in tragic ways uh, in the last week or so, uh, in particular in the, the Asia-Pacific, where at least six countries have been affected by major natural disasters. Um, what I'll try to do is give us uh, uh, some basic information as far as we know it, and of course it is um, particularly in some cases a, a very much a moving target, and also an idea of how the United Nations uh, in its different forms and the humanitarian system and international community more widely are responding to these disasters. Um, as you know, tropical storm Ketsana uh, has affected some three million people, mainly in the Philippines, but also in uh, Vietnam and Cambodia. Um, people in Manila are still uh, emerging from their shelters to a, si a city littered with debris, uh, still flooded in some places where telecommunications, infrastructure, water and sanitation, food and so on remain major problems. It's had very severe effects in Vietnam too and to some extent also in Cambodia. And we're particularly concerned about the impending arrival in the Philippines in the next 24 to 48 hours of another major weather system, Category 4 Typhoon Palmer, uh, which may hit many of the areas already affected. Uh, in, in Indonesia, uh, we've had two successive earthquakes this week which have killed hundreds of people uh, and triggered a major national and increasingly international response. Uh, and of course, uh, we've also seen the uh, tsunami um, triggered by an earthquake which has been affected, uh, affecting Samoa, um, US Samoa and Tonga. Um, there's a lot of emergency relie relief needed in all these uh, cases in support of the local government's efforts uh, and the international community has been mobilizing in many different ways. Um, some of the governments, the Philippines, Samoa, uh, and now Indonesia have actually specifically requested international assistance um, which we're trying to provide and looking ahead there will also of course be a need for more sustained efforts uh, as the recovery effort gets underway uh, in due course. Uh, if I can just give a bit more detail about uh, all three of these areas, um, the full impact of Tropical Storm Ketsana uh, which uh, hit the Philippines on the 26th of September and Vietnam on the 29th of September is still being assessed, but um, we believe that something like three million people um, have been uh, affected. Uh, in the Philippines in particular, this is a very serious event in which a month's rainfall uh, fell in 24 hours, and resulting in six meter flood waters in parts of Manila and surrounding areas, landslides, destruction of infrastructure, uh, major destruction of, of housing and so on. Uh, the, the response at the moment is shifting from the emergency rescue phase uh, which lasted several days to relief operations. At the moment, uh, the latest statistics we have are uh, 277 uh, people confirmed dead and 42 missing out of a total affected population of some 2.5 million in the Philippines, uh, almost 740,000 people displaced. Um, these figures uh, may change, may, may indeed go higher because uh, we're still trying to, to put all the information together. Um, Almost 400,000 of those are in evacuation shelters and another 350,000 are with host families. Uh, as I said, this, this is already the fourth severe weather incident in the Philippines in September alone and the fifth uh, very worrying one is heading towards the country as we speak, Typhoon Fa uh, Palmer, which is a Category 4 typhoon with winds uh, up to 120 knots, uh, which is 220 kilometers an hour. Uh, and of course torrential rains as well. That's expected to start to impact the northern Philippines, including um, areas impacted already by Kitsana uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and this could have a very serious impact 
both on the people already affected and, of course, on the relief operations, if the projections turn out to be accurate. And, of course, it's very hard to predict these things uh, accurately. But we are extremely concerned about what might happen from Typhoon Palmer. Some 8.5 million people are in its path in the Philippines, um, and more than 100,000 people live in coastal areas, which could be the most affected. In Vietnam, um, Katsana uh, made landfall near Da Nang on the 29th of September, and so far the statistics we have are 92 deaths, 19 missing, uh, more than 6,000 houses destroyed, and 175,000 houses flooded. And the government of Vietnam's at least initial estimate of damages um, in only five of the 12 affected provinces amounts to more than $120 million. Again, uh, there are more storms forecast for this area which could trigger f further flooding and landslides. In terms of the uh, needs and the response, obviously we, we uh, the United Nations, are working very closely with uh, and in support of the government efforts. Um, a, a, an eight-member uh, UN disaster assessment co and coordination team, an UNDAC team, is already in Manila assisting the government of the Philippines and, of course, the UN country team, the agencies which are already on the spot. The priorities are the ones that you would expect, uh, clean water, sanitation and hygiene, food, um, other non-food items, health uh, and protection. Um, there will be some blanket food distributions needed for, particularly for those in the evacuation centers, but also those um, in uh, host families. Um, and the relief effort is being affected by the fact that in many places roads are still impassable. Uh, there is still some search and rescue going on, and there's going to be a major operation of debris clearance uh, and drainage uh, as a major part of the, uh, the next few days. Um, we are planning to launch a flash appeal next week, uh, early next week, um, for this disaster in the Philippines. I can't give you a, a figure yet, but it will be uh, certainly tens of millions of dollars. Um, obviously, we're looking at the possibility of using uh, the Central Emergency Response Fund to kickstart funding uh, in the usual way there. Um, and the agencies in the area, the World Food Programme, the World Health Organization, Food and Agriculture Organization are mobilizing uh, their efforts as much as possible, together with NGOs who are already there too. And Vietnam, um, the people on the spot uh, have been helping, that is the uh, agencies and NGOs like World Vision and Oxfam and other national NGOs are helping. At the moment, uh, the government of Vietnam have not asked for uh, extra international assistance beyond what's available by the organizations who are already in the country, um, but we'll continue to follow that. Um, if I turn next to uh, the earthquake and tsunami in the Pacific, um, uh, something like um, 150 deaths altogether from the, uh, the 8.0 um, um, on the Richter scale earthquake on the 29th of September. 110 deaths and 146 injuries so far, but again, this, uh, these figures are expected to rise in Samoa. Seven deaths in Tonga and 19 deaths in American Samoa uh, because of the, the very destructive tsunami waves uh, up to six meters high in some places. I mean, a very dramatic event, even if the areas affected luckily were not as, uh, as widespread by any means as in the 2004 tsunami in the Indian Ocean. The worst affected areas in Samoa are the south and southeastern coasts uh, of the island of Upolu, where a lot of damage to homes, uh, community buildings, roads, power supplies, water supplies uh, have been reported. Um, in Tonga, a particular island of uh, near Toputapu, I'm not sure I got the pronunciation of that exactly right, was uh, also struck by, by several uh, six-meter waves from the tsunami. Um, and has uh, caused major damage uh, in that particular area, uh, not only to be in terms of deaths, but also to uh, water supplies and crops. In American Samoa, the uh, President Obama has already declared a major disaster, and the FEMA is coordinating the response there. In Samoa itself, the government has declared a state of disaster, has asked for international assistance, um, and we are doing our best to provide that. Again, a, a, a UN disaster assessment and coordination team um, is already in Samoa, a four-man team, uh, where they're looking to uh, do a quick, very quick assessment of what is needed. Uh, the International Federation of the Red Cross has a team on the spot. Other people like Médecins Sans Frontières, uh, UNICEF, the World Health Organization have also uh, have either got uh, staff on the ground or are sending uh, staff there as fast as they can. Uh, the main priorities are emergency medical supplies. I think the hospitals and the clinics have been very badly damaged along with the uh, other infrastructure, together with the usual issues of water, food, uh, and shelter. Um, in Tonga, um, uh, the 
the government again has declared the island a, a regional area of emergency. Uh, the Tonga Defence Service is in charge of the relief operation there and there is also a Red Cross depot of emergency supplies which are uh, being used but will probably need to be supplemented. In terms of the uh, response, um, as I say, there is a UN assessment team on the ground. Um, I don't know whether we'll need to, to move towards a flash appeal or, or the use of surf, but that's something we'll be looking at, obviously, in the next few days. Um, the international community has been mobilising, uh, apart from the UN, particularly Australia and New Zealand, as you'd expect, uh, mobilising release supplies, logistical support, uh, medical teams and other supplies already arriving and um, governments like uh, the US and the European community are already pledging uh, amounts um, of, uh, of aid so far, uh, together with the UN as well. Um, Indonesia, uh, again, a, a major earthquake, 7.6 on the Richter scale in West Sumatra um, yesterday. Uh, the death toll, um, I think the latest figures we have suggest the death toll has risen already uh, to 1,100. Uh, that's very much stop press. Um, obviously many hundreds of injured people as well and again these numbers uh, I fear will rise um, as uh, more information becomes available search and rescue continues the cities of Padang and Pariaman are the worst affected area Padang is a very major city with almost one million people um, as you have seen from the from press reports it's still feared that thousands of people are trapped under damaged houses with many buildings collapsed uh, houses but also uh, major buildings such as hotels, uh, hospitals, uh, schools and so on. Uh, telecommunications are very difficult, electricity and water supplies are mostly not functioning. Uh, roads are cut off also due to damage and landslides and there are concerns about, uh, obviously very heavy concerns about the welfare of the population and the relief operation there is being uh, very much hampered by heavy rainfall at the same time. Uh, there was actually a second earthquake this morning, seven, uh, seven on the Richter scale in, in Jambi province. Um, certainly uh, causing damage, but we don't have any reports of casualties so far. Um, the Indonesian government, which has a lot of experience, of course, uh, for tragic reasons in this area, has been responding uh, as quickly as it can, already providing emer initial emergency relief funds uh, equivalent to $10 million and deploying rapid reaction teams with items like tents, blankets, food, emergency clean water and uh, hygiene facilities as well. As I said, the uh, President has uh, announced, President Yudhoyono has announced that the Government of Indonesia welcomes international assistance coordinated through the Government and we certainly are cooperating very closely with them. We have an office, OCHA has an office already in Indonesia, uh, a UN joint mission including not only OCHA obviously but the Food and Agriculture Organization, WHO, UNDP, the World Food Programme, um, UNICEF and others um, were in Padang this morning to um, try to look at the damage on the ground to define what's needed. An UNDAC team uh, will again be arriving uh, tomorrow. Um, I think UNDP has already made a $100,000 uh, cash grant to the government of Indonesia. Um, again, whether we need to go for flash appeals or, or, or surf response, I think it's too soon to say, but those tools are certainly available if they're needed, if the government uh, wants them. Um, meanwhile, search and rescue teams have been welcomed from the outside, and I think teams are on the way or either already there on the way from um, Germany, Turkey, Japan, Singapore, Switzerland and Hungary and with others uh, mobilizing as well. Um, but of course there are challenges for these teams because of the rain uh, and the limitations on the amount of heavy equipment available to remove rubble. Uh, the government has already declared a two-month emergency phase um, which I think is already an indication of the severity of this crisis. There have even been suggestions that this might be a worse disaster than the earthquake in Yogyakarta in 2006 but uh, that's really speculation at the moment but clearly it's a very serious event and we are uh, responding uh, appropriately. Let me stop there. I'm sorry to have given you so many uh, facts and figures but I hope that was helpful and I'm very